Okay, today we're taking a ride on the 2023 Road King Special. Now, if you're a little older, there's a good chance you've ridden a Road King at some stage over your years riding. Or if you're a little younger like me and you're in your early 20s, it's highly probable you either saw your old man or maybe an uncle cruising around on one while you were growing up. Now, we first saw the Harley Davidson Road King back in 1994 when from memory it replaced the electric glide sport and first appeared with hard saddlebags, a windshield and no fairing. But of course one of the distinctive features on the Road King right from the start, which has obviously continued over the years, is its large retro headlight, reminiscent big V twins from the 1960s. And over the next few years, and into the turn of the millennium, it became one of HT's most admired cruises. In actual fact, it became the motor company's best-selling model in the US and remained king of the FL Tours until the release of the Street Glide in 2006. But even after the introduction of the Street Glide to HD's touring stable, the Road King still remained extremely popular, especially with a significant upgrade back in 2009 with the all-new frame and swing arm along with the altered wheels, tyre and changes to the suspension. Okay, so now we look at the latest Road King Special in a bit more detail, which again is powered by the Milwaukee 8 114 cubic inch engine, pumping out an impressive 100 horsepower and 119 foot-pounds of torque. Now something you'll notice as soon as you flick up the side stand is just how well the Road King Special handles. Now ground clearance isn't a problem, especially through the tight corners, and these little mini apes place your shoulders in the perfect position, well for me anyway. I would add a screen though, which can be easily taken off for around town. But trust me, it'll significantly reduce the buffeting and be a lifesaver on the open highway when you're heading away for a trip. Now I've always loved the front end of the Road King too. With no front fairing or navigation screen, it's just an old school view of that large traditional headlight and the road rolling along ahead of you. Now the stretch panniers and the prodigy wheels complete the special treatment, while the Daymaker LED headlight is a pearler, not only in appearance, but also in functionality. Add to that the large tank for some serious touring, along with those comfortable footboards and the Road King Special will take you anywhere you want to go in total comfort. As you can see, we've got the bright billiard blue model here on test, but it's also available in vivid black, or if you really want to stand out in the crowd, industrial yellow. For me though, it's definitely the bright billiard blue that gets my vote, especially with the blacked out components, all from the powertrain covers, the mufflers, the headlight nacelle, the mini apes, it really stands out and just looks a million dollars. And after testing almost every model on HD's fleet over the years, the Road King Special really hits the mark and is without a doubt one of the best HD cruisers I've ridden in some time. So if you've ridden a Road King before, you know just how comfortable they are. And if you haven't, well the 2023 Road King Special really is the perfect model if you're looking to try out a cruiser for the first time. But as I always say, don't just take my word for it, get on down to your local authorised Harley-Davidson dealer and test one for yourself.